Have you ever wondered how plants can fit into your everyday life? How your boring everyday life could be upgraded just by plants being in your presence? Well, today I'm here to tell you about how amazing plants are. They're amazing because they can come in any size from the size of your tree, or the size of your car, or the size of your thumb. They could also be in an array of colors. Today we're going to talk about houseplants and how you can take care of some in a very easy way. We're going to talk about urban gardening and how it's so important for the future of big cities and how plants can help you. In your house, you could have air plants, cacti, succulents, or shrubs. Plants can be very helpful. They can save oxygen, but they can also help heal cuts and burns, like an aloe plant. You can grow an aloe plant with only watering it once every two weeks, and HGTV News says that it is one of the easiest things to use. You just need to water it whenever the soil gets dry. And then when you have a cut or a burn, all you have to do is break a leaf and, snap, er, and rub it onto your arm or wherever your cut is. Another thing you could grow is the money tree. Although it does not rain dollar bills like we all wish it would, it is just a sign of good luck and prosperity. It can grow up to eight feet tall inside your house. It just needs six hours of direct sunlight a day. Something I personally do is grow my own green onions. There's three easy steps and all you have to do is fill a cup with water, chop up your green onions, which you buy from the store, and then put them in something very yummy. My favorite is mac and cheese. Then you throw a bunch of other things in it, it's great. Then the third step is to put your, put your green onion stalks into the water and then they'll grow to be new green onions. It's crazy. On to the next point is gardening in big cities. So New York is called the concrete jungle for a reason. It's because it looks like this. But I'd like to think that cities in the future look like a green utopia, just like this. According to URI News, some gardeners at the University of Rhode Island decided to deal with this problem by starting a garden on top of the Providence Public Library. Providence is the capital of Rhode Island. Their garden was so plentiful that they produced 30,000 pounds of food to donate to nearby shelters. Now imagine if every skyscraper in New York City decided to do this. They would have 9 million pounds of food because there's over 300 skyscrapers. Now that's just the skyscrapers. If every building in New York City did this, they would have over, have over 30 billion pounds of food to help feed New York City. That's a lot. On to the next topic. Healthline.com says that over 21% of city livers have a, either a depression or anxiety disorder more than people that don't live in the city. And people that also live in the city have a 39% chance higher rate to have an ex a mood disorder. That's a big number. But there are plenty of ways you can deal with this. One way is to walk to a park similar to Central Park where there's tons of nature, but a better way is to help solve it permanently by getting some plants inside of your home. Just having plants inside your home can increase very many things for your, for your needs, like your mental health, your physical strength while you're starting your garden, that's hard work, lots of exercise, and it can also help battle dementia. If you're an elderly person battling dementia, Focusing on your brain can help deter it. Gardening is also a form of meditation. Meditation is very good for your mental health, and it's similar to reading and writing. When you focus your brain on things, it's very good for your brain. When you're sitting by gardens, and if you make your house a garden by having houseplants, your space becomes a lot more calm, just like this picture. Now, a recap of our main points, 
we talked about houseplants, some easy ways to take care of them, and some good examples. We talked about urban gardening and why it's so necessary for the future of big cities, and how plants can help you with mental health and physical strength. Thank you for watching, and next time that you're thinking you need to help your anxiety or your depression or you feel like your oxygen isn't working, go buy some houseplants, like a pot and a plant, and set it up inside of your house. Thank you.